Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. It's Lee from Magnetic North Adventures. Hope you're all well and uh, I'd like to say Happy Easter to everybody that celebrates and uh, I'm out with Gavin today and uh, Gavin's going to do a bit of filming. He's basically going to just enjoy some fresh air as well today. Um, he has brought some inventions to show us and uh, we're going to talk about those what he's made uh, just for adapting the life of magnet fishing, making things a bit easier over the next few months whilst recovery goes on um, and basically until the weather fully improves. Uh, we have got the adapted magnet that was found repurposed and that is going to be tested we've also got another magnet which is going to be on a spade handle also adapted to use as a, a mudlock magnet so i'll look forward to showing you those in a bit so today is going to be a magnet fishing adventure and a show and tell of equipment that's purposed repurposed and made How beautiful these daffodils are. I do love those. Springtime. So this here is an Evo magnet. And this here is part of a old cylinder. Uh, the blue ones that you get magnet fishing. We'll bolt through it. And on the top, you've got the top of the cylinder can. And then you've got, this is where the nozzle would have been. And an eyelet welded to it. And Gavin's made that. This is still a very strong magnet. As you can see, it's got a bolt through it. It's fastened around at the bottom. And it, it's locked off with a, a threaded bolt. And I can feel this is still trying to pull onto my phone. So I'm going to clip that onto a rope and I'm going to give it a test. And this is a perfect magnet, a repurposed magnet that is chipped and damaged for using in your rocky areas of your rivers. So let's see how it performs. So magnet fishing, we've just had this old tape measure out it's got the old brass buckle on the end there so a couple of bits we've had out I've had a 2016 10 pence two small cannonballs two large cannonballs and a bucket handle that's not bad So, just done a bit more fishing in this area. Uh, got a tiny bit out, as you've seen. Yep, four more cannonballs, folks. It just shows. And uh, I've just found some. It's really, really hilarious. I'm speaking up because I'm next to the fast-flowing weir. Right next to the water. And uh, I found a goblin in the water. Do you want to see it, folks? What is that? Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. It's Lord Gavin in his throne with his adapted magnet rod. Just taking it easy, you know. We, we've told him he's not really allowed to do much magnet fishing. <laughs> he says the remote control's gone. But yeah, um, I'll just come across, folks. So, this is the new adapted magnet that he's using. And on that, he's got a few nails, uh, random bits of washers and that. Yeah. At the moment, it's a magnet 
At the moment it's a magnet, store magnet, but any magnet can be fitted. So, you know what folks, it's one of those that if you want to just pick something off the end of the dock or if you've dropped your keys, it's absolutely perfect for recovery for that. Now, when he's better, we're going to test it out that way in the waters more. But look at that, he's just sat down enjoying himself. What a better view to have than being sat next to a lovely waterfall. And I tell you, I bet if he sat here long enough, he'd see some of the fish jump on that weir as well. Brown trout in there, and uh, there's chub. There's various fish, and there's ducks as well. Just drag it along and just kick it too. So, Gavin's adapted magnet. It's just been along the lay-by where there's been a known fly tip. There's lots of nails, spikes, there's some clippers there for nails, curtain hangers, bits of metal plate. So it, all that is stuff that could have actually damaged somebody's car tires. Well done, Gavin. So, tiny tiny bit of scrap not a lot but at least we've got something out the environment and uh, we have got a scrap man coming across to pick this up later today uh, i know it's a bank holiday here but he's still gonna come across and pick that up for us so we're just having a little bit of a walk and uh, some beautiful Lovely, nice painted graffiti of people doing an explore. Oh yeah, that's really nice stuff. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's quite hilarious this folks, I love that. Oh look, a squirrel! So, it's quite interesting because it's actually got some local uh, and amusing dialect on. And uh, it's very, very well detailed. Nice. So we've got another bit of local street art there. That's quite impressive, folks. I like the well-painted stuff and it's on a pub called or The Forest. So we've got the water just free flowing down. This is the River Sheaf in Sheffield. going over the rocks, absolutely beautiful. There we go. Um, I've just found a, another local street artist. Just there, Peeping Cat. And uh, that's one of the local street artists down here and down there. So we're at Ely Bridge now in Sheffield and you know what folks, this water is extremely clean. We've just tested all this area, all down here and all down there and we ain't got a single item. So Gavin's just had one throw because he wanted to see if he's able to magnet fish uh, on a lighter magnet. But um, I don't think we're going to get anything, folks. But this is where we are. Uh, obviously there were bridges here 
all the way back to 1650. Just when we thought there wasn't anything, folks, Gavin's caught himself a very nice rider type scooter. Wow, cool. So this is where we are. There's some information about it there. Bridges here, back till 1650. Many bridges on the sheaf in Healy over the centuries and they regularly needed repairing. In 1650, the brig, brig near the trout house was damaged by two fallen trees and part of the disbursement for replacing it was as follows. And that's the old information about it. There used to be a, a train station as well and the site of a Bailey Bridge from World War II and then you got Healy Wheel for grinding corn from the 1600s so yeah that, that's where we are folks um, So a ghost on the wall, some graffiti. It's a lovely, lovely day out. Right, well, uh, we've had a bit of a magnet fish, we've had a bit of a walk, found some nice bits. And I'd like to give a special mention to Karen and her friends, who's provided us with these lovely bags that can be used for recycling. And uh, we tend to put a lot of our scrap metal into those. They're very good, strong bags, and they're all getting reused. And uh, we'd like to say thank you very much for the bags. We really, really appreciate it. Every single one helps save the environment that bit more. And this plastic is not going into landfill. It's actually getting reused and repurposed as much as it can. And then eventually it will be recycled itself as well so massive shout out to karen and her friends once again for these bags thank you very much really appreciate it well folks it's uh not been a bad one has it really another four cannonballs a bit more rubbish cleaned out the environment gone and tested a few more areas two areas are no good but yeah at least we know what's what so I'm um, uh, gonna sign out now uh, it's a short video but uh, I'll see you on the next adventure um, next week we're gonna have a magnet fish a light fish together see what turns up and we're just gonna go from there don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching everyone and until next time, bye for now.